right, folks, here we are in Supermarket Simulator, and you're probably saying to yourself, Komodo, why is it titled that you're closing your store? Well, you know what? It's because we are. I'm done. This thing is disorganized. I actually ran several days, and I haven't really purchased any stock. I'm trying to run the shelves out uh, for the most part. And uh, yeah, I got something planned here. So probably the biggest thing planned is I'm finally gonna move the computer. It can go into the storeroom. I didn't even realize that was a part of the last update. So <laughs> we could finally get this thing out of here. And uh, it, it looks a lot better being like maybe up against this shelf in here. So that freed up some space, but we need to free up even more space. So with the power of $40,000, we're gonna expand the store. So I have enough for the next product license also. But I'm going to wait because I need to stock the store. Uh, the next product license mainly consists of, like, I think it's uh, cheeses. So we're going to hold off on that. I actually, and if you saw it from the intro, have a bunch of boxes out here because I've ordered more shelves. Uh, that way we can redo the store. So we're going to stay closed. Uh, and I've got a lot of work to do here. Uh, Bobs, do you, do you guys want to take off for the day? No. Uh, well, you know, you guys at home could hit the thumbs up button for some more Supermarket Simulator. So yeah, as you can see, my store is insanely, like, disorganized at the moment. So we're going to start moving things. Uh, we're going to have one long shelf along the whole back of the store, uh, which is good. We're going to... Hmm, what do I want to do with the alcohol section? I feel like that's obviously got to be contained within itself. Uh, so maybe it'll be this back corner will be all just alcohol related items Also shout out to the person that tweeted at me the other day showing how they take care of corners They actually stick the shelf in sideways uh, It doesn't look the greatest, but I think it is pretty good for like I guess you could say space management So yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to move this out this way just temporarily until we get some new shelves in so we're gonna extend our refrigeration section to this back wall here because I think that's where the new stuff's gonna go and some of the other stuff that I'm actually out of stock on. So we're gonna grab one of our big fridges here. So we're gonna stick one more here in the corner and then the rest are gonna go along this back wall. Uh, we're gonna move some of the aisles down a little bit. I took a lot of suggestions from you guys uh, from the last episode. Do I need to buy another big fridge? I think I might need to. I've got two small ones here. Uh, so maybe a small and a big I think will fit along this back wall So yeah, that's the thing is I could have afforded the new product license But it's not gonna do me any good because I do have to pay the employees plus we're gonna have to do a massive stocking uh, So just having everything in place is Probably the better option here now another couple comments I did notice and notice a lot of people are like oh man You know they like the stalkers, but they're also like oh we we like to watch you stock well trust me uh, that is not going to stop anything. We are still going to be stocking. We just have a little bit of help. All right, so we've added some to the refrigeration section. I know this is kind of weird right here where this door would open. It would probably be almost right on this one. But uh, until we unlock this last corner, that's about as good as it's going to get. Let's go ahead and install some of our new lights. Uh, so, yeah, we're closed. We're going to be closed for a little bit here because this is going to take... Uh, a bit of time to get this all figured out, but trust me, it is going to be worth it once we're done. I think this place is going to look fantastic. So I've got a bit of a dilemma. I think I'm going to actually, hmm, I think I'm going to extend out this aisle here. This one's going to have to stay because you don't have this corner unlocked, uh, but we can certainly expand this. So I think the beer section is going to be here in the corner. I'm going to get this just kind of out of the way. This is temporary, folks. I'm not sticking these in the middle of the aisle. Uh, and then we're going to add two long shelves uh, to this aisle here to expand it out. And then we're going to have to redo where a lot of our items are. I got really disorganized last episode, but I, w I just rode with it. And I grinded out uh, in between episodes, and I just kept it the same. I was like, I, I, I don't like to change anything major while I'm not recording. So it was just like, stock everything and just you know see what happens. All right, so we've got that out. I could probably go even one more. Should we do that? Let's let's size it up real quick. Uh, I like the little end cap that I have on there, but I might be able to do this. This might be a little bit more efficient and maybe not have an end cap on the shelf. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, so we need to move this over here now. But yeah, that's a nice long aisle. Now we still have this section behind uh, the registers here, which I think we're going to redo a part of that. Ooh, I've got another shelf here. What do I do with this? Here, stick this here for now. 
I gotta look at this store at like several different angles that way I can figure out what exactly I'm doing. You know, we could make one giant refrigeration section on the side here and just expand these shelves out. That might not be a bad idea, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see what that looks like. So, say for example, let's just grab this bread here. I'm not gonna grab the alcohol. Uh, if I were to move a shelf out this way, is that enough? Mm, that's pretty tight. Honestly, it is. I, I don't know if that's a good idea. I could move these freezers over to the other side. Uh, that would give you enough space to go. We'll keep this refrigeration section. I need to add... I was going to add a couple more refrigerators uh, right here. We could move our end caps. I know a lot of people just don't like them. We could move these in like this. So move one here. Uh, and then we'll move one over here and then I'll need to add another one at least one more maybe two more uh, Right here. Could I fit two more at least one in one small one? I think I I'm trying to just add as many shelves as possible right now in our store So if we stick this back over here that kind of organizes that it's not bad uh, Refrigerators we can start to pull these so we're gonna pull these over here so you're gonna have two different freezer sections. I know they're gonna be on the opposite side of the store, but uh, I think in the long run, this is gonna work out. You know, eventually I wanna see some shelves for like fresh fruits and stuff like that. I feel like that would be kind of cool. All right, so we got a big refrigerator here. So this can go along the back side. Can I fit a small one in here too? Man, I feel like I can. It's gonna be kind of close. So say for example, before I order one, if I were to stick this here, no, that's not bad. You know, I could do that and just move this one over. That way you don't create that weird, like, blocking of the back fridge. So something like this. Uh, honestly, I kind of like that. So we've got more refrigeration sections, which that's really what we were needing. Uh, we got a big freezer section. I think I'm going to eventually... Should I move these over closer? I know it kind of crowds the checkout area. No, I don't think I should do that. I'm going to keep these in the front. But we are going to utilize the space that we open up. Okay, I'm going to stick this over here. Uh, I'm going to get the freezers away from the front windows. Uh, I know I kind of explained that I liked them over there, but I, I don't think I, I want to keep them in front right now. The only weird thing is this wall kind of goes out, so you got oh, that offsets a little bit. Uh, not too sure about it. I don't know. We might have to move that section, but uh, let's do that. And I'm going to put a fridge over here, just like a small drink fridge uh, for your last-minute checkout item. So I need a big shelf here here in the front uh, so let me go grab another one of those you know the thing is too I can always put a freezer in storage say I don't like where it's at and it's like empty I can always move one around because I think I have enough space now uh, for it all to make sense man we could we could extend this shelf out too I don't feel like that's too close uh, the checkout people are still fine uh, so what two more big shelves here and maybe we'll put away one freezer. So yeah, I can just box up one of the ones that's not not getting used and then grab one of the ones that uh, is currently stocked. So say like I grab the cones here, move these over. Oh yeah, there's gonna need to be a lot of stocking happen, ha happening here. Uh, and I'm gonna move this one. This one will stay in front of this window here. This is empty right now, but eventually I will utilize the space because I think at some point we're gonna turn the checkout aisles and move them down this way once we get the fourth one. Uh, I need a bigger store though. I need that corner unlock, which that corner is going to cost a ridiculous amount of money, but it's going to be fine. All right, so we got these. Let's order two more shelves. That way we can extend these aisles. Well, now we'll have really long aisles, which is great. Like that's something we didn't have before. Uh, so this will make it to where we can keep everything in stock for sure. So after I place these down, I want you guys to comment down below. Like, what would you change? What would you move around? Uh, it's going to take a little bit to get all the stock in order uh, because I'm going to be moving some sections around. Uh, let's place this right here. Boom. Those are long aisles. Those are nice. Uh, this one gets cut short because of this. But as soon as this corner opens up, I will extend this aisle down to the end too. Uh, so just keep that in mind. We could stick another freezer here. You know what? Uh, let's go and grab that one. Does it look okay if it's like stacked on the end here? Uh, I think it would. Oh, yeah, I don't think that looks bad at all. All right, so that kind of utilized a little bit more space. Uh, we still have a big app, uh, like a big gap here. Uh, but eventually, like I said, that's going to get filled up with cash registers when we turn them all sideways. And we just extend the checkout lines this way. So, now it's time to spend probably over $10,000 in stock. So, 
what I'm gonna do, I have to fire my stalkers. This is the only thing, and I, I really hope this becomes a option in the future. I wish you can tell the st uh, stalkers to stop, unless that's been updated. And which by the time this episode comes out, maybe that is an update. So yeah, I had to fire them all. That way they don't go out here and start placing stuff as soon as I order it and put it in the store. And because I need to do the initial stalking. I need to make sure I have everything in the correct position. Now, I'm going to leave a fridge open. I think this back fridge is going to stay empty. That's going to be for our new cheeses. I don't know if we're going to get in this episode because, honestly, we're about to spend a ton of money on stock. Uh, I don't think I'll be anywhere close to the 12 grand I need, but you never know. Uh, maybe once we get all this, like, really well stocked, uh, it's going to be great. But, yeah, I'll set the initial uh, stock up, and then I'll start putting stuff in the storeroom, and then I'll rehire the stalkers, let them come out here and finish stocking the empty spots. Also, if we could get rid of this 10 limit, uh, I would much appreciate it because I think this 10 limit, you know, at first it didn't really bother me, but now it's like this, this is ridiculous. I shouldn't be limited to ordering 10 items. Uh, maybe it's something to do with like lag in the game and having too many boxes, uh, but I'm trying to order four of like everything right now. And it is going to be expensive and there's going to be an incredible amount of boxes outside. Okay, you want to- oh my goodness. <laughs> that is about $12,000 worth of product. Can you know what the sad thing is? I didn't get to order everything that I wanted to order. All right, so it's time to start reorganizing all of my shelves. So there's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to fully stock here, uh, but a lot of it I will eventually leap up to my stalkers. Uh, so we're going to put chickens. I think I want to do- actually, you know, I take- nope. I think I want to do it this way. So I think we're going to do chickens and like pizzas here. Uh, so I'm going to have to start moving some stuff out. Uh, and then eventually, I think I'm going to move the other like random products over to the other side. Uh, that way I get them stocking these over here because you can already see I already have some of this over here and I'm pretty happy with uh, the stock, but I don't want n no pizzas over here. Uh, no pizzas. I might need to have an ice cream section too. Uh, hold on, I need to move. We're just gonna move a, a complete fridge here. Uh, this is a pizza fridge, and we're gonna move the ice creams to the front here. So yeah, I'm gonna try my best to like have this stocked and try to have everything in decent spots. It's not gonna be perfect here initially. This is gonna be a big process of eventually organizing the whole store, but this is gonna be definitely a step in the right direction. You know, it's bad I can hardly even like see my garbage can. It's almost completely covered. All right, so toilet paper is going to be back wall. Cleaners and personal items are going to be this wall here. I need to move a couple of these around. I uh, might have to spill some of that over into here. We're finally going to have a proper potato section, which I think is going to be along this wall for now, or this aisle. Uh, so I ordered a ton of potatoes, by the way. They're not really good sellers. I mean, I, they are, but there's just not a lot of stock that you can do with them, which kind of sucks. Uh, but I'll get over it. So, yeah, uh, it's just... This is kind of actually scary that I have this amount of boxes just setting outside. I'm surprised the game isn't lagging more. Uh, stick these here. I need to get some empty boxes to move over some of the shampoos and stuff. Uh, oh my goodness. This is kind of a nightmare, not gonna lie. I wish the stalkers would at least grab this stuff and go stick it in the storeroom. That would be lovely, but that is not a thing. Alright, so I definitely want a meat section, so I think this will be our meat fridge. I'm gonna move some of the other meats over. Uh, that way I can keep all of those grouped together. Uh, and then you guys could still get the really satisfying footage of me stalking here. Because I know that's that's just a thing for people. Like, a lot of people like to watch that. And I feel like I need to keep that in these episodes. I need to get these frozen items and stuff like that out there. Because uh, those don't belong. I'm going to have my own sushi fridges. We'll have a frozen fridge. Which I know it's a refrigerator, but I think some of these items look like they would be frozen. Uh, so that definitely looks like it's a thing. So yeah, I'm gonna go around and like collect any meat that is just out of place. Uh, I've been pretty good about my drinks being on this left side, so those are good. Uh, let's see, some of these cheeses need to move, because I'm gonna have a dedicated cheese section uh, down here, and then the new stuff will go into here, but I'm gonna go and stack these cheeses over here. Try to keep at least two aisles or two shelves worth, maybe three. I think we could do three. Uh, I'll get that one off there. Uh, let's go ahead and keep moving cheeses over. See, that's the thing is, I don't even have to stock the full fridge. Just get it started, uh, and then swap it over. Also, I think I can kill labels here. So say like, oh, I don't want the cheese over here, so you can take that off, uh, which is good. Uh, frozen section will stay in here. Uh, let's go and grab this chicken out of here. This doesn't belong. I got so uh, disorganized here. 
And the thing is, like, I wasn't even really paying attention because the stalkers, of course, are now stalking everything over in this section. So I just kind of let it be and just like, all right, you guys just go over here and stalk and just do whatever you need to do here to keep it, uh, keep the cash flowing, essentially. You know a feature I would like to see? Like, say, like, okay, we stock these here. I wish we could just manually set, like, what product we want on every shelf. Kind of like Pumping Simulator 2 did something similar. That way I could just stick the stuff in the storeroom and let the stalkers do a lot of the stalking for me. But you'll have your label set up ahead of time. Okay, coffee section. This is going to be coffee. Uh, we're going to expand this. Coffee is a hot seller. So I'm going to move all this over and we're going to expand this out. So we'll have, uh, I think these are medium roasted. Or is that the medium or is this the light? I think it's the medium. So we'll do four medium, four dark, and then we'll do like four of the light here. Uh, I think that should be plenty of coffee. Okay, time to organize my horrible pasta section. This is a nightmare here. Um, okay, so I know where I want them to go. I think I'm going to have to temporarily... I need to move these milks. Uh, by the way, I got a lot of good ex explanations. Like, I've been complaining about these milks. I'm going, why are these out on the shelf? Because uh, <laughs> I was like, man, I'm just so used to, like, these things need to go in the fridge. They're going to go bad. But got some good explanations to why these are like this uh, from the last episode. We're going to stick these here. Uh, and I'm gonna move... I don't know what would go next to these, to be honest with you. Uh, these are hot sellers, though, so I want to keep a whole section of these over here. But I need to move these out of my way because I'm gonna have a pasta section fairly near. I mean, a lot of times people put milk in pasta. Uh, I'd say to make it a little bit creamier, so here we go. We're gonna grab the elbows here. These are gonna go... Okay, so we have rices here, so we'll have pastas here. Uh, we'll see how we're going to stock this. Oh, why can't I... That's the one thing that bothers me, is some of the limitations as far as, like, what can go in what box. Uh, we're going to put sugars and all that over here. So we're going to essentially just have to move all this across the aisle. Uh, that way I can get it as organized as possible. Uh, so we'll do four... I think four spaghetti. And then we'll move... We'll do, like, four rice. So I'll need to move these. Uh, and then we'll do more rice up here. So while I'm working on that, I need to go address the cereal. So we have three different types of cereal. Also, I have pasta. Why do I have pasta and rice over here? You know, I don't know what I was thinking uh, during the stocking here. This needs, you know, the milk would make sense over here, but the milk's just too big. So I guess we'll have to keep those separated. I mean, I don't know. Maybe people aren't putting warm milk in there. Why can't I put pasta in this one? I need to move the pasta over to the middle aisle. Uh, geez, that's still weird that I can't, like, move certain items into certain boxes. By the way, I'm going to keep the tunas, uh, the salmon, and I think, like, the prosciutto and ham in a section together. Since I think those are all pretty much ready to eat. I mean, the salmon, some people cook it, but I think, I think you eat it raw. Uh, so yeah, I'll need to do that. Let's get some detergents over here. Uh, this is going to look so much better, and I think it's going to make you guys happy. Uh, and most people are happy anyways, just because I'm just playing the game. But uh, I know there's a lot of people like, man, you could be doing such a like better job of stocking. Well, we're going to make those people proud. Also, I think I might move. I think the hard liquor needs to go over here. So I'm going to start to box this up. Uh, your beers will be this back wall. Liquor's the other wall. I don't know if I have enough keg area. I, I might need to adjust that a little bit. Okay, flowers, I think, are going to go next to the oil. So I'm going to redo the flowers section. I don't have a pre-existing. I kind of have a pre-existing one, but we're going to move these over here. And I'm just going to stock a couple of them. Let's go ahead and pull this. We'll pull the label. And then, yeah, I want to move these all together. There's a lot of different types of flowers. So let's go ahead and tell them not to stock any more of these over here. So we're going to kill these labels. Uh, that's pretty good there. Okay, back here. You know, I need to move these drinks over. That actually is... Well, I, you know, I think I'm going to keep the singles where they're at. I was looking at that. I was like, I don't know if I want to move that or not. Okay, so these are all going to be big sushi platters on this side next to all the little sushi platters. And I need to get these frozen ones, or I guess not frozen lasagnas out of there real quick. Okay, so something I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to start killing labels here. And I think I'm about to allow the stalkers back in to start to, like, if I'm happy with, like, what product's over here, I'm going to let them in to start stalking certain items. Uh, so let's kill all the potato uh, ones here. And then I can start to decide, like, where everything else should go. Uh, so let's kill those, kill that label there. Uh, I need to probably kill those, but I need to get the boxes out real quick. I need to make sure there's just no labels like, where I, I don't want certain items. Let's go ahead and just make sure they're not there. 
That way they don't go accidentally stalking stuff where I don't want it at the moment. And I can always go behind them and clean up a bit, but I feel like letting them in the store uh, once again is probably a good idea. You know, I think we're going to do the sugars on this. Okay, so make sure we get rid of any flour over here. I need to move some of these sugars over. There's like, they're all over the place. Uh, like I said, not going to be perfect initially, but uh, it should be good. All right, let's hire those stalkers back. Actually, I can't. Oh my goodness. I just now realized that's a thing. I think I need to stock this. Um, I believe I can take out one more loan. I think I'm going to have to take out a small loan uh, in order to do this. Or I could open the store. Maybe I'll open the store here in a minute. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more stocking then because obviously I've kind of screwed this up. I should have left a little bit of money, uh, but I wasn't smart enough to do that. So uh, that's not a thing. Also, I have drinks. Why do I have drinks over here? My goodness, what was I thinking when I stocked this? Okay, box update. I'm gonna have to open the store. I need to start making some money so I can get my stalkers. I've almost got, I would say, everything in place, label-wise, uh, where I want it. Uh, we're getting there. There might be a couple products here and there that are just a little off at the moment. Uh, but for the most part, I am pretty satisfied. Should get some customers in here, and then I'm gonna rehire stalkers. And we're really going to get this place moving here and fixed up. Okay, look at that. We're unleashing these stalkers once again. Uh, so they'll start correcting a lot of the stock. Uh, so we're good there. Uh, so I'm going to keep working on this absolutely horrendous pile of just stuff here. It's just absolutely ridiculous. But the good news is everything's changing stock. We're getting everything where it should be. Uh, it's just taking a little bit. There's gonna be a couple things out of place, but I will like as soon as I spot them once they're done stocking I'll be able to transfer it over really quick uh, Man, it's super busy in here right now I may or may not have like a thousand different trip hazards here for my uh, poor customers, but it'll be fine Okay, stalkers have been working very very hard. We're getting everything turned over right now. It is looking really really good All right, <laughs> I mean the box pile out here is still massive and I'm sure there's going to be a couple products I don't have in stock. I should be able to make another order now. I mean, obviously, I'm back up to $3,000. Uh, so we should be good there. But I'm trying to give them plenty to do here. I need to open up the store. Uh, let's keep the good times rolling here. New day. All right. Let's keep moving. Uh, I'll need to redo some of the drink sections next uh, because they're still a little bit out of order. Uh, but I'm just trying to move out some of this big stuff to begin with. Hold on, let's go and label these shelves as detergent. Uh, that way they know where to take those. I've got an absolutely massive like toilet paper section in the back, so definitely shouldn't be running out of that and shouldn't be running out of potatoes either. Like I feel like we've done a pretty good job of covering all of our bases here uh, with those. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and order a couple more shelves here uh, for the storeroom. I can actually get that fourth stalker if I want it. And I kind of feel like for the current like situation that we're in, uh, we might actually need that stalker. So let me go ahead and put these shelves in real quick. There we go. Look at that. And now I can hire a fourth stalker. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. So we got a fourth person in here. Very, very nice. Uh, they're going to go ahead and start stalking. Let's go ahead. And we got extra food shelves now. Uh, I was actually running out of uh, space there. Ooh, I know I need to go redo these. The lasagnas are kind of out of place at the moment. I swear we're going to get this pile cleared out of here this episode. I am not going to leave this pile of boxes in the street. Uh, and then, yeah, once I get this cleared out, you can really... Oh, that was uh, coffee. Coffee should go over here. Yeah, once we get that cleared out, we'll know exactly where we stand in the store and what we still need. One good thing is I haven't been seeing... Oh, there was a negative one there. But for the most part, I haven't really been seeing any complaints. Uh, so I'm pretty thankful for that. Uh, I think that's pretty awesome to see. Okay, going to take a look inside, go ahead and clean out some of these boxes. Look at the pile. The pile is almost gone. Like, I, I think I've done a good job of trying to get all this out of here. Uh, just shoving stuff in the storeroom. Hold on, let's turn on the light real quick. Going to get some of these boxes cleaned up. Uh, some stuff's going to look empty right now, but I can assure you I've got stuff in, like, a lot of the places I want them now, uh, which is great. Uh, so we're just going to continue to let the stalkers work here. I know a lot of people want to see me do the stalking, but... Uh, definitely having these four here while I get these boxes cleared out. Because every time I stick a new box... Was that guy just walk... I thought I just saw a customer walk through our storeroom. Uh, that was kind of weird, wasn't it? Uh, but yeah, uh, the more I get 
this all stocked up in here and label those shelves, the quicker I could fill out this store, uh, which is ultimately the goal here. Uh, what's this? Oh, uh, vodka. Uh, I swapped some of my alcohol around. I think we're going to start sticking them on this shelf over here and then keep the normal drinks on the other because there's a lot of different normal drink types. Uh, I need to order more al alcohol here really soon. I don't know if I'm going to get to it by the end of this episode. This is really just about shutting down and... Uh, I will call it like a, a restocking, remodel uh, style situation here. Uh, but ultimately, this is going to be really good for the store. And I, I think uh, it's going to satisfy the people that absolutely hated my stock. And they hated how I had, had everything situated here. Uh, so that's definitely a good thing. Because ultimately, it's about making you guys at home happy uh, with the store. And to continue watching the uh, watching the series here. You know one thing I do wish we did, uh, could have? I know somebody said they'd love to see like a trolley where you could stack multiple boxes. Or just the ability to pick up multiple boxes. Even if it was the same, say it has to be the same size box. Say like two or three. Uh, that would be a big time saver in like what I'm doing out here. You know, I didn't even notice we went up in another another level here in the store. I've been, just, I've been so busy running back and forth. Uh, the stock room is pretty full. Look at this. And the good thing is when you start to see it stall out and you start piling up boxes, you know that everything inside of the store is fairly stocked too, uh, which is what I'm seeing. There it is, the last box. I actually wasn't sure if we were going to be able to clear that out. So here comes what we're going to do in the next episode. Uh, still a bit of organizing left to go here, some cleanup. But I think this is a very good start. This was much needed to close down this store. Got some more empty spots. Hopefully we'll get the product license, which I might have even more unlocked. I'm already level 66 here. So uh, I think we'll be able to buy more products, but we'll have spots for them here. Uh, but yeah, this this makes me so happy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll get those cheese next time. It's going to get really expensive. So like I said, there's probably going to be some bigger gaps in episodes now uh, because of the amount of like just stuff that needs to go on. Like this is one of those games I'll let it run. I'll come back and do some stocking and then just leave the computer, let some days run out and let the money pile up and the levels pile up. But thank you guys for all the love and support on the series. And we'll see you guys next time.